Fam Bam, what's going on, man? Welcome to 2016, baby. We made it. Man, we are in the time, of course, of fitness, fasting, and resolution. And I would go ahead and resolve to say that while we're working on our outside as best we can this year, that we take a little time to possibly work on the inside as well. Let me let me talk to you a little bit about what I mean. I was reading in the Word of God, Romans 14, uh, 10 through 12, and it says a little something like this. I'll read, so where does that leave you when you criticize a brother, and where does that leave you when you condescend to a sister? I'd say it leaves you looking pretty silly, or worse. <laughs> Eventually, we're all going to end up kneeling side by side in the place of judgment facing God. Your critical and condescending ways aren't going to improve your position, not one bit. I read that and I was just like, woo, woo. And then I went on and it sent me over to 1 Corinthians 4, 5. And it says, so do not make any hasty or premature judgments before the time when the Lord comes. He will both bring the light to the secret things that are hidden. We're all going to be judged. You don't ever have to give an account for me. And, and I will never have to give an account about you. Okay. Our life is going to be judged by God. How crazy is that to sit down and to think about? Now, Romans 14, 13 goes on and it says this. Forget about deciding what's best for others. Here's what you need to be concerned about. That you don't get in the way of somebody else making life more difficult than it already is. Psh, how hard is it not to judge someone? Huh? How hard is it not to judge somebody? Man, I, as soon as somebody doesn't do what we think they should be doing, immediately we go head on and we tell everybody's business like it's our job. That's crazy. Man, we are all going to be able to face God. Our job right now is to please God. Our job is to praise God regardless of our condition and let God handle the rest. Let me tell you this quick story. There was a husband and a wife. They're at a gas station, correct? And... Uh, the husband tells the gas attendant, hey, could you come over here and clean my windshield, please? And he comes right over and he cleans up the windshield nice and good. And the guy looks over at the gas attendant and he goes, hey, he goes, you did an awful job. Do it again. So the guy comes over and he says, OK, he starts to clean up the windshield a little bit better. And uh, the guy looks at the windshield and goes, you are the worst windshield washer ever. Wash my windshield again. And the guy comes over and he is meticulous about how he cleans his windshield. And the guy is like, you have to be kidding me. Where is your manager? You are the most incompetent gas attendant. I and he's going off. And in the meantime, his wife reaches over, grabs his glasses, wipes them off and puts him back on him. And in the meantime, he now is able to see how meticulously clean his windshield is and he hangs his head in shame the thing i'm trying to let you know is that critical people are always going to view other people through their own dirty glasses the dirt on your own heart will cause you to always see and speak in an unclean and critical perspective you're gonna become angry when you perceive dirt on other people when in reality, your anger should be focused on cleaning the dirt that is in your own heart. Guys, it's a brand new year and you are searching for that brand new you. And while you are looking to get beautiful on the outside, I pray that this 2016, one of your focuses will be to clean yourself on the inside, starting with our mouth first. God bless you guys, man. I love you. Here's to many more beautiful videos and great times together. I love you, famo. I'm going to talk to you real soon, man. Peace.